The fraud and corruption case against Zandla Gumete and 21 others is back in the Durban High Court sitting in the Durban Magistrates Court today. The matter was adjourned to the 22nd of August for the start of the trial, which will start with all the accused tendering their pleas. Gumete and her co-accused face multiple charges related to a 300 million rand Durban solid waste tender. For more on this, let's bring in our colleague Jade Paulser. A very good morning to you, Jade. We see the proceedings are delayed. Why is that? Well, a very good morning to you, Desiree, and to the viewers back at home. And I think this is um, the state when it comes to, uh, um, you know, the Zandile Gomede trial and others. Uh, 22 of them are in the dock at the moment. We did take a short break early this morning. There has been some issues with Judge Michelle Bolton saying that the application that was brought late by the state asking for assessors to be brought in to assist her. And we saw the judge very scathingly say that this application... Um, undermines her authority she says that she does not need assessors to to assist her and to help her with regards to this and say that she's, she's done many cases she doesn't need these assessors to be brought and this was this matter was dealt during the pre-trial conference so she's not understanding why the state has now asked for these assessors and this application that was um, subsequently brought back in front of her but just looking at the case I mean um, we, if we look at the case and how long it's been ongoing now this is the second year that we are seeing Zandile Gumede, a former Etiquini mayor, as well as 21 others in the High Court here in Durban. It has been a stop start affair, as you said, Desiree. The trial was supposed to start last month. Um, however, the, fifth, the 15th, the 16th, and 17 accused in the matter did not have legal representation, and this halted it to where we are today. But today, a similar situation. The state, however, not being ready to proceed this morning. Morning. Also coming with that urgent application to have the judge have assessors to, to um, assist her. Also citing that there are 600 bank statements that need to um, be, you know, go to, to go through and saying that the judge needs assistance in this matter. It is a lengthy pro. Uh, procession and it is a lengthy uh, court case and they want all hands on deck if we're looking at it it's over 2,000 charges with three with results of that 320 million rand a tender that Zandile Gumeri is allegedly being said to have um, embezzled now this funds go way back to 2017 when she was the former uh, mayor and it said that she had been running a ring enabling some of the political affiliations as well as family members to secure tenders within um, and within her realm and saying that this money was channeled through because of her uh, political interference because of her status within Etiquini municipality and saying that she was at the helm of this this corporation that was running an illegal corporation that was running and the embezzlement of funds in Etiquini municipality so she is the first respondent in this matter it is very quiet where I'm standing at the moment but on the other side of court there is a large support a large support gathering um, and they have been at the forefront supporting Zandile Gumede as well as the 21 other co accused she has vehemently saying that this is just a, a, a plot to try and um, you know take her out of politics within Etuquini take her out of politics within KwaZulu Natal she says that she was not involved in any embezzlement when she was the mayor of Etuquini Queenie municipality and says that she did not embezzle any of the funds 45 million rand tender which then ballooned to 320 million rand and it's said to be all a part of the Durban solid waste management and this money was supposed to go in supposed to be used in townships in KwaZulu Natal, Mlazi, Kwamashu but it subsequently was used and um, distributed amongst these small group of people who are said to be contractors that work for the municipality also former politicians are council 
councillors also in, um, that have also been charged with this corruption charges. So we are going to hear whether the um, the judge is going to listen to the state's application that they have brought now to have more assessors assist her. We're talking about 600 bank statements and whether that will be thrown out of court, we wait to see. We did take a short break. I'm just going to step out a shot and show you. It is fairly quiet, so I predict that they have gone back inside court, Desiree. But we'll bring you the latest with regards to what that um, application entails, whether the state will actually win in that matter or whether it's going to be another postponement on the cards today. It's Jade, actually, while, I ha while I have you, I just want to ask you quickly, just in relation to uh, those accused who cannot afford legal representation, was a solution presented in this regard just in terms of the way forward for them? Well, we've just found out this morning they do now have legal representation in the large, large uh, court city. Um, the state did say that there will be legal aid provided. However, there is a lawyer that will be presenting the 15th, 16th and 17th accused in the matter. So uh, I suppose there's it's smooth sailing now. We will wait to see if there's any delays. We do know the judge has come out saying that she wants this to start immediately. We are a month behind and trial is supposed to start now. Jade Pauls are there bringing us the latest in terms of the court appearance by the former Etiwini mayor and 21 others.